Hello, it's Phil Thatch, and today I am once again in downtown Chattanooga. I'm going to do some street photography today, and I'm using my Nikon ZFC. I've got the small rig L-shaped grip on there, so that's really nice, using the strap holder as well. And today I'm using a, a, a vintage-looking camera and a genuinely vintage lens. This is the AFS 105 2.5 with the neat built-in lens hood. All metal lens. This is the this is the lens that was used to make the famous Afghan girl shot, and I guarantee you, I will not make a photograph as good as that shot today. But I'm going to try it out for some street photography. You know, it's a 105 millimeter lens, and that makes it 157.5 full frame equivalent. So that's a lot of reach. But Chattanooga is kind of sparse in terms of people walking around, so a lot of times I'm way more comfortable with a long lens in Chattanooga. Uh, like if I'm at the market, Chattanooga market, where there's lots and lots of people, I'll use a wide lens, but for just walking around downtown, I like a long lens. I've got some other vintage prime lenses with me today as well, and I may use those, but I'm definitely gonna start out with the 105 2.5 and see what I can get. So let's go. Well, I've been hanging around here at the Hamilton County Courthouse so far and I've made some shots with the 105 2.5 most of them have been at f8 but a few of them I've opened all the way up to f2.5 and of course I don't get exif data from this lens so hopefully I can remember which ones are which but most of the shots are at f8 I got to tell you I have definitely missed some shots in terms of focus uh, that I needed to do really quick that I would have bagged with an autofocus lens like the 50 to 250 uh, great street photography lens if you need a longer focal length and i've done a couple of videos with it i'll put a link to one of them up in the corner right now so that's i really think i enjoy using that lens more but it's a fun exercise to get out with this vintage lens and see what i can do it's actually a beautiful lens there is uh, a lot of chromatic aberration wide open but that's not bad i mean it's not a deal breaker for the lens but it's really fun to shoot with it so now I'm going to go someplace else. I made a photograph of this statue that's outside the Hamilton County Courthouse. And I made the photo just because I thought it looked cool. And then I got home and researched who the statue is of. And it turns out it's a Confederate general. And I certainly don't want to get political on this channel. So let's just leave it at that. Here is another statue. This is actually a fountain that's kind of across the street in a little island surrounded by roads that's near the courthouse. And this one's much less controversial. It's a fireman. And in the wintertime, I've seen this fountain get completely covered with ice. Here's another photograph I made of the statue of the general there. Again, not trying to be political at all. I just thought it made a neat picture. And I really do love the way this photograph came out with the general looking across with the flowers and the building in the background, an F8 shot. Now, here we are down on the road near the courthouse. And this young lady was strolling along and she was looking at the courthouse. And I like the leading lines of this shot. And this is the first one of a human being. And I did miss the focus a little bit, but not too bad. Now, here we are kind of around the corner. I love this shot. It shows the hills of Chattanooga. And I like the uh, light trails or uh, sun stars coming off of the bright lights on the motorcycle. And I believe I got this shot in focus, even though it was a moving motorcycle. Now this shot almost didn't make the grade to go into the video, but I like the hills of Chattanooga and I like that the subject is super small in the frame, but there's more light on her than just about anything else in the shot and the path leading up and curving right to her. I've come down here to uh, kind of Market Street, Main Street, MLK Jr. Boulevard, 8th Street, places like that, and uh, still shooting with the, with the ZFC and the 105 vintage f 2.5 lens really a cool lens heather got it for me for valentine's um last year so that was a that was a really thoughtful present and i'm enjoying shooting with it today i got a picture of a guy uh he was standing on a corner and he was smoking a vapor pipe and there was a guy coming down the road on a bicycle and the guy who's smoking the vapor pipe blew this big cloud of smoke right as the bicycle was coming and the cyclist had to kind of lean over to avoid the cloud and i managed to catch that shot gosh i hope it's in focus i'm really not 100 percent sure but if it is we'll we'll look at that in some other photos from around this area 
I really got lucky when I made this shot. It turned out so cool, and I'm really happy that I amazingly got the thing in focus. He had blown the smoke kind of down, and when the cyclist got there, it blew right up and into his face, and it turned out to be a pretty interesting shot. Here's a UPS man. He's just dropped off some packages there at the tailor shop, and uh, he's updating things on his handheld computer device. This one's in focus pretty good, too. Uh, I miss focus a lot, but not every time. And I made another photograph of this fountain. I love to photograph this fountain there in Miller Park or Miller Plaza. And on this one, I slowed down my shutter speed to 1 13th. And I was either at F22 or F16. I can't really remember, but it was one of those. Well, I'm continuing to wander around Chattanooga and I came down here to the corner of 8th and Market and Liv Ferguson was busking down here. I've, I've never met her, but I've seen photographs of her online hanging around with musicians that I really enjoy and I gave her a little Venmo tip and made a couple of pictures so it's really cool to be wandering around Chattanooga today and get to listen to Liv Ferguson play her Stratocaster and sing. Here's my photograph of Liv Ferguson as she was busking downtown Chattanooga with her Stratocaster Really beautiful voice, and she had her guitar sounding really nice as well. And on this one, I stopped or I opened up that vintage lens all the way to wide open f2.5 to make this shot slightly out of focus on her eyes, but not too bad. And you know, I always have to make a photograph of the dome building. I just love that building, and I thought this GBR sign looked cool. I don't know what it means. Maybe you do. Well, I think that is going to do it for me down here in downtown Chattanooga. I've had a really fun time shooting with the 105 f 2.5 vintage prime lens on the looks like it's vintage but it's modern Nikon ZFC. Hope you enjoyed it. I really struggled a little bit with focus because that's not uh, my area of expertise dialing in manual focus lenses quickly. Uh, my good buddy David Sailors over at the Georgia Photographer channel is uh, much better at that than I am, but it was still a lot of fun using this old prime lens on a vintage looking camera and making some photos. I hope you liked them. And if you did, you know, a thumbs up really helps me out. Uh, subscribe, hit the bell if you wanna see some more. And as always, I look forward to seeing you in the next one. Bye-bye.